share this video with you today because it's gonna serve like two or three or four um, purposes with uh, something that I have to do. Um, one reason is gonna be to kind of introduce a new quilt that I'm gonna work on. Another reason is because it's gonna help me attack a little, um, one little space of clutter. And then um, the third is just to talk about how my approach to um, cutting up some jeans to make some squares for a quilt. Um, I want to start first with, um, I love quilting with denim and I have made several quilts uh, using some denim uh, squares and I want to show them, um, one of them that I made for my mom a few Christmases ago, um, if you follow my channel, it's the one with the, um, the elephants that were applicated onto the, the, um, the denim squares. And then the other ones, uh, is like a little quilt as you go. Um, each, each part of the quilt was a quilt as you go. I will uh, try to put some pictures in here. I think I had to go kind of into the archives to find the pictures because this quilt was a while ago, but it's this giant, huge, I don't even know how big it was quilt. Um, and, uh, and she really liked it and I really enjoyed making it. And I learned more about Quilt As You Go and I was able to do like a wider sashing um, using my Quilt As You Go um, technique. So uh, there are also some videos about it. I'll link those videos in the description box. Um, another quilt that I made was the Pieces of My Heart quilt. That pattern is on my Etsy shop. I will link it. I'm trying to think if I have it here on my clipboard. And I do not. Um, but I'll put a picture of the pieces of my heart quilt here so that you can um, check that out. And I'll link to my Etsy shop so you can find that pattern if you're interested. In uh, that quilt, I used crumb blocks and I was able to use denim. Like I used crumbs as the inner heart and then the denim was the, uh, the outside background. And then the, uh, well, the middle heart was the crumbs and the denim was an inside heart. Um, since I made that quilt, I have sold it. Um, so that's really cool that it is sold and, um, and, and they love it. So um, that one used denim. And today I want to look at another quilt um, that I made out of, or that I want to make using some denim. It's sort of like the Pieces of My Heart quilt, but I had to alter it just a little bit. So let me, um, let me pause the camera. I'll come back and tell you more about that quilt. So the new quilt that I'm starting, I'm calling it Heart Strings. Let me show you the picture of it. It's right here. I drew it out on my um, on some graph paper, and I want to put the picture of the heart of the piece of my heart quilt up just for a second because when I put it on the floor, when I took pictures of it initially and it was on the floor in my living room, it was great. But then when I went to, um, I think I went to my school fall festival and I hung the quilt up on the wall and it didn't quite have the same effect that I was hoping for. So hopefully I can put a picture here in the, um, of the quilt at my school. And what happened, I noticed that the sides here as, as the heart came down, the sides were very thin and the top was really thick. So I realized that when I stitched it, um, I didn't have enough um, of the middle heart to make the sides thicker. So I want to redo it, and I think I am going to um, I'm going to redo the pattern that's on Etsy. There will still be a pieces of my heart pattern, but I think I'm going to add the heart strings pattern to it because I think once this these sides are a little thicker, I think it'll look. Um, in my eyes, it'll look better once it's hung somewhere. If it, you know, if it ever needs to be hung. So I, um, what I've already done is I took my drawing and I've decided how many of each square I'm gonna need. Uh, this involves some half square triangles, so I'm doing that too. And I've made some string blocks here. If you follow my channel, you've already seen these blocks, but I just wanna show them to people who haven't seen them. I did some dark string blocks and some some light string blocks here and I actually did them on a 
on a foundation. This is just copy paper that I've recycled to make squares. Um, so I'm gonna use these to make my quilt and that's why I'm calling it the heart strings quilt. See what I did there. Um, and the inner heart, this center, uh, not the inner heart, but the middle heart here, that's what we're gonna use for the denim. Okay, now the third reason that I'm excited about this video is because it allowed me to get rid of some clutter. And so let me show you, this is the top of my um, fabric bureau where I keep all my fabrics. Um, and I want to show you the top of it. I took a picture of it before I cleaned it off. So here it is. In the, here's a picture of it. It's a little overwhelming. And so right before I made the video, I went and cleaned it off. I'm going to go grab the denim and then I'll show you um, all the types of things that I found. As I was cleaning off that, um, that little, the top of that bureau or the top of that dress or whatever, I found de uh, denim in several different categories. Um, one of the ones that I found, and these were at the very bottom because like they were when I first started and decided I needed some denim for this project. Uh, these are some jeans that I've grown out of. Um, right now they would be too big, but I'm sure at the time when I got rid of them, they were too small and I was literally busting out of them. So you can see here, I ripped them so I wouldn't keep wearing them. And these right here, they're worn in, um, in the, like in the inseam, they're, they're worn out. So these I kept because they were mine and I couldn't wear them anymore. Another category that I found was some that, um, one of my friends gave to me because she knew I was working on some denim or that I wanted some denim for a project, so these are some that she gave to me. The third category, these, this stack right here, these are jeans that I found that my kids um, don't wear anymore. And typically, um, they, they might outgrow them or they may just be out of style or whatever. And at first, I was gonna cut them up for projects, but now I've decided that I'm gonna donate them. One, because this is a ton of jeans and I really don't want to cut them up. And also because they're not in bad shape. When I wear jeans, I wear them all the way out. But when my kids wear jeans, they wear them until they're out of style or until they outgrow them just a little bit. So these are still in good shape. I'm going to put those in a box that's going to be donated soon. And then another category that I have are just denim pieces. Thankfully, everybody around me, they know that I'm a sewer quilter. And so when there's fabric left over from whatever or whoever, I tend to get a lot of fabric. So these are some pieces that I got. I'm pretty sure I didn't have to pay for them because people just drop off bags of fabric to me. So I'm going to be using uh, these, the worn out jeans today. I don't know if I'm going to cut up any of the, the regular fabric yet. I know I just want to start with the jeans and I can use my pattern to determine how much I need and, and go ahead and get some squares cut today. So let me clear this out and then I will talk about this pattern a little more. I wanted to put the pattern a little bit closer to the camera so that you can get a, a good look at it. I'm going to, um, I am going to re write the pattern so that you can see everything all laid out. But this is just kind of a close up so you can see what it's going to look like. This inner section is going to be the border. I mean, it's going to be the denim. So this heart right here, the one that's blue, that's what's going to be our denim. I'm going to have to make some half square triangles from the denim and I'm going to have to cut some, um, some actual squares. But today I'm going to start with the half square triangles. Um, and the reason that I'm going to do that, I'm going to go back and sit down now. The reason that I'm starting with the half square triangles is because this is a, a larger square than it's going to have to be for the solid squares. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take my um, string blocks here, and I think they're eight and a half inches. I haven't messed with these blocks in a while. So I have my ruler here so I can measure. And whatever this measurement is going to be, that's what my, um, that's my oven, it just preheated. Uh, that's what my denim squares need to be for the half square triangles. And down here at the bottom, I've already listed how many total squares I need, how many squares I need for the half square triangles. And for the half square triangles, I only need 13 of the denim squares. So I'm going to get these measured and then we're going to see about how I'm going to cut up this denim. 
I took a practice cut on one of these pairs of jeans and to be honest I'm really not sure um, what the best way is I'm, I'm gonna show you what I did and then I'll do it again on the next pair of jeans and you can kind of make your own decision about what you want to do as far as cutting denim what I decided was I knew that the really thick parts I didn't want to have to try to sew through so I did cut off the top of the jeans and I cut off around the pocket because that part is a little bit, the thickness is a little big. And then, um, yeah, so you can see the waistband here is gone. And I actually cut the, the only thing that I cut besides that was the inseam. And so that's that center seam. On these jeans, it's a little bit thicker there. Or like right here, it's a little bit thicker. But then the, on the outside of the legs, it's not as thick. But I still don't think that I'm going to use that for my um, for my squares as I cut them out. So let me move the camera, and I'm gonna I'll cut one pair of these on on camera, and then um, probably go press a pair, and we'll cut some squares out. I pulled one of the jeans, so we're just gonna cut them. Um, there's one thing that I was thinking about, and that's these pockets, and I'm not sure what to do about the pockets. I think that I want to keep them. Um, but I'll put them to the side. I know I'm not putting them in this quilt, but I think it could be something neat to add to a quilt or a tote bag or something later. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start. I just laid them out like this, and I'm going to start with the the center seam. And, like, there's one side that's kind of thick. I'm just cutting along the thinnest side of that seam here. Okay, and going all the way up yeah okay and i don't know hopefully this pair is similar to the last pair and it seems to be so far okay and these are really worn there and so i, I could have some decision making when it comes to um cutting out my squares as far as that part goes all right and then i'm just going down the other side It's not too bad it's really I thought it would be more challenging to cut it but it's really easy to cut it and now I'm going to start right here and I'm again I'm cutting beside that really thick part I'm going to go up the zipper and then I'm going to turn I hope you can see this and then go kind of around the pocket and on the last pair of jeans there was a really thick Part of this and there is two here so the pocket area is really thick there they have it like double stitched or whatever and so i'm going to go down and like here you can see where it's back stitched i hope you can catch that i hope the camera catches that you can see where it's back stitched and so that's kind of my turnaround point so here and then just go back up and for me i start I don't just do the waistband, I'm doing this whole thick little seam right here. And this is just what I'm deciding to do, what you decide to do may be different. I just don't want those super, th I don't want to be even thinking about trying to sew through some super thick parts of denim. And also this allows it to kind of lay flat and I'll show you that in a minute. So here, and then I'm back at another pocket. So I'm going to go down and I'm using my gingers. Um, I don't know if my other ones will work as well, but you know, it would be worth trying. Okay. And then around the pocket again. Okay. And the zipper. And then we're back where we started. So the waistband is gone. And now we have this nice big piece of denim. This is torn because I, I ripped it so that I wouldn't wear the jeans again. So, um, but the rest of it is, it can lay relatively flat. 
Okay, so I'm gonna do this with the other two pairs, give them a press, and then we'll cut some squares out. So I have my, um, my, my jeans pressed, and I think I'm about ready to cut them. I did go ahead and I cut along the back center seam um, so that the pieces will be a little bit flatter, and so hopefully that will help when it's time to cut. I, I feel like one more step I could make would be to go ahead and cut this other seam so that it would be even flatter. And I might, um, I may go ahead and do that. I think I will do that, especially for this first piece. And I would love to use my shape cut ruler for this part because I think that would make it easier. But since I cut my, when I did my, um, my strip string blocks, I used my 15 inch square ruler. I'm going to use that one again today. I think it's going to make it a little bit easier because I don't know. I just do. And I want the measurements to match up with the other one. Okay. So I would love it if I could cheat on these and do like this and cut two at once, but I'm not sure that that's going to be the best course of action. I need 13 of these squares. So like if I, if you just do regular math, it's like um, three of each color because there are four colors and then four of one of them. But I'm not sure because of the way I have it cut, I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to get. So I'm going to shoot for three and if I can't get three, then I will, I don't know what I'll do. I, but I have extra, the other pieces back there. So I'm looking for an eight and a half inch measurement. So I'm just gonna kinda cut this so that I get the eight and a half one way. Okay, here I'll stand up so that I have more leverage on my ruler here. And I'm not, because these jeans have a little stretch in them, I'm not sure what's gonna happen. I'm just gonna try not to play too much with the, with the edges of the fabric. And I actually put my eight and a half inch line on the edge here. Wait, let me see. So it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel like it's straight. Okay, so here we go. Eight and a half. Alrighty. And I know like this will be so much easier with my shape cut because I can line up both sides at once. But I really think that I'm going to get a better a more accurate measurement because I'm using the same ruler that I use on my other squares. Okay. And then I'm just going to turn it. Okay. And I'm just going to choose a line to line up on the bottom here. And in the grand scheme, this won't, this won't take very long, I don't guess. So here we go eight and a half then swing it around and get the other eight and a half again lining up on the bottom here and then lining up that eight and a half line on the edge okay and now all right and so i have like this little scrap and then this one's going in my in my uh, dog bed all right so that's one and i only have 12 more to go let me get those done and then i will show you what they look like i have all my squares now cut out i didn't quite um get the three that i thought i was going to get and all the colors but i'll show you what i have so here's two and then i got let me see one two for five of these this color and then these are some more of the same color I ended up having to use an extra set but I was only able to get two out of my lightest um, my lightest denim so but I got my 13 so I'm ready to get started making half square triangles at some point um, I before I do that I'm going to take each of these squares and using my ruler I'm going to draw a diagonal line on the back of them so that when I get ready to make my half square triangles, it'll be easier to stitch on either side of that line. Okay, so I'm really um, happy that I took the time to do this. 
ready to see what the next step is going to be. If you have any questions about what you've seen in this video, leave them in the comments below. Thumbs up this video, share it with your friends, subscribe if you haven't already. Um, be sure to check out the other um, videos that I have about working with denim in quilts. I'd love for you to, um, to check those out and get your feedback on those too. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!